So the public beta for iOS 16 is finally here giving everyone the access to all the new features, but should you install it on a device or not? Now for those of you who don't know what the public beta is or what it does, it basically is a copy of the developer version, but for everyone, giving you access to all the new features in the new iOS, which in this case is iOS 16, so you can try out all the new features before the official release later this year. Now this update though has a ton of new features and the biggest highlight is the new lock screen, especially the options to customize it and add widgets to it. Now if you have an Apple Watch, all of this is pretty familiar territory because it basically acts like the watch faces on Apple Watch where you have multiple lock screens and you can shuffle between them, having different designs, different fonts and all of that. And all of this is, is pretty amazing in my opinion. Now you also have the ability to delete or edit messages inside iMessage. We have live text in video now and this very cool new feature called passkeys which basically replaces all your passwords with face ID and touch ID on most applications and websites which is pretty amazing but a lot of these features they won't be available until later this year until everyone gets the new update for them to come into effect so keep that in mind because a few features even though apple showed them in the preview video they won't be available until later this year so keep that in mind now one more thing you have to keep in mind is that battery life is going to be terrible all of these developing stage versions they have terrible battery life and that is something you have to be prepared about other than that, also keep the battery health in mind because that will also depreciate and take a big hit when you use these versions. So keep all of that in mind before you actually go and install the update. But yeah, should you install the update or not? Now there's no simple answer to this question. On one hand you have terrible battery life, on the other you have all the new features. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that this being a developing stage version, they do offer to crash and basically break your phone quite often. So keep that in mind because if you install it on your main device, you might be in situations where your phone is basically bricked for a couple of seconds where you can actually use it. So that is a bit of an issue. But the biggest issue that I think comes with these developing or beta versions is that many developers, they don't update their application to support them and they only release compatible versions later in the year for the official release so few applications might not work as intended which can be an issue if your work or school applications stop working with an update so keep that in mind before you go and install it but to basically conclude all of this if you have a secondary device you want to try it out on definitely go for it it it's an amazing update but if you are installing on a primary device be cautious when you install it because again as i said applications a few of them might not work and these things are still a little bit buggy till the end and apple even though they iron out most of the bugs they still kind of persist in the system so keep all of that in mind it still is good enough it's not going to break your phone permanently or anything might have some small hiccups but that's pretty much it and again all these new features especially the lock screen is an amazing update and worth trying out but yeah that is pretty much it now you should also know that iOS 16 all the public betas and the official release is only supported on iPhones iPhone 8 or above so if you have iPhone 7 or lower you won't be able to install any of it and to install it is pretty simple go to Apple's beta program page go in there enroll your device by signing in download the profile go to settings access the profile install it on your phone enter your password and restart your iPhone and the update will be there once your iPhone is restarted inside settings. Now I have made a full video on this which I will link down below for you guys to check out but yeah that's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed the video and if you did give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more. Until then please like comment and subscribe. Peace.